I'm 55. Uh, <laughs> but these celebrities, they've had a, a, a ton of work done, most of them. And, um, and, and I, I always tell friends of mine, you wouldn't believe it. I sit right next to them. You can see all the work that's been done. And they don't believe me. They go, no, no, you're exaggerating. Folks, we found photos of what these celebrities look like before they went under the knife. And I thought, what would be the best thing to do with these? Keep it myself, return them to celebrities, or cruelly exploit these photos by showing them on the air. You're right. Quietly return them to the celeb. No. What we're going to do is right now is we're going to show you these photographs in a little segment we're going to call, and I thought of the name, Before Plastic Surgery. For example, David Arquette recently, uh, he's in the Scream movies and he recently married Courtney Cox. Lovely guy, been on the show many times, and he always seems like the boy next door. Doesn't he look like a normal looking guy? Doesn't look strange, doesn't look odd, really. He just looks like he hasn't had any work done. Folks, this guy has completely been reworked. Take a look at David Arquette before plastic surgery a couple years ago. <laughs> they removed eight quarts of water from his head. And now he's fine. He gave it to John Tesh. All right, now, uh, why? Why hurt? Exactly. I was wrong. I was wrong. Uh, from the X-Files, Gillian Anderson. Now, a lot of people think, well, she's got a nice, sweet look. She's not, she doesn't look like a mannequin or anything. She hasn't had work done. Folks, ton of work. Look at Gillian Anderson before plastic surgery. It shocks you. That's right. She used to be a painting in a bad motel. <laughs> she got loose. Um, now this one completely shocked me. Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart, Martha Stewart cooks food and, and makes doilies and stuff like that. You wouldn't think that she would need plastic surgery. She's had a lot of work done to change her look. Look at her before plastic surgery. I was shocked. <laughs> You don't know her like I know her. <laughs> Mess up one of her cupcakes and it's like, don't see, don't see, that. <laughs> she had to live in Bolivia for a while. All right. Uh, I think most shocking of all, England's Prince William. I mean, he's a kid. He's like, ex I know. All the girls are like, oh, and frankly, some of the guys. And they're like, uh, but he's like 17 or 18 years old. And this guy, this guy has had work done. Take a look at Prince William before plastic surgery. This really... <laughs> he can open cans. Uh... <laughs> Willie, come in here. We want some baby peas. <laughs> I think, for my money, one of the hottest actresses around right now, and believe me, I'm all man, I know. Uh, don't laugh at that. Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie. Uh, she's in uh, the movie The Bone Collectors. Very hot actress. Everyone's talking about Angelina Jolie. I was shocked to find out she's had a lot of work done. Take a look at her before plastic surgery. <laughs> Is it me, or is that just really disturbing? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Stick her to your back window. Uh, uh, Fiona Apple. Now, this surprised me. Fiona Apple, of course, she's very young. Her whole thing is that I'm real. I'm a real person. Fiona Apple has had a lot of work done. Look at Fiona Apple before plastic surgery. <laughs> We were clever. <laughs> you don't like clever. All right, uh, Steven Tyler from Aerosmith, one of my, I've tried to model my life after him. <laughs> this is him being told what year it is. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, Steven Tyler has had a lot of work done. Look at him before plastic surgery. I think this is shocking.
Um, you know, I was shocked to find Andy Dick. Andy Dick, we all know him from news radio and runs around and act crazy. Uh, Andy Dick has had a lot of plastic. Look at him before plastic surgery. Shocked to find. And then finally, Boris Yeltsin has had a ton of work done. There's Boris Yeltsin as we know him now. But look at Yeltsin before plastic surgery. I was shocked to find out. I don't see a difference. All right, folks, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little break right now that uh, I've caused several lawsuits. When we come back, uh, he's an actor, he's a director. Thrilled to talk to him. Tim Robbins is going to be joining us.